Okay. Uh, I will start asking you to describe what happened exactly, well, according to you, what happened in Sidi Bouzid in the 17th of December of 2010. What happened? So I think what happened is uh, registered and known by everybody. So actually, uh, one of the uh, street uh, vendor has been humiliated by uh, a police woman because he was uh, trying to use the street in order to sell a few uh, articles. And it, uh, they saw him as uh, as if he, he was trans transpassing the laws. I mean, he's using spaces which not allowed to be used by street vendors. And that ignited, you know, which, that initiated a kind of uh, uh, oral dispute at the beginning between the uh, Polish woman and the, uh, the man who is called Wazizi. And uh, unfortunately, that led to a kind of humiliation, which, uh, uh, which led also to that uh, gentleman to set fire on himself. And that was the starting point of the revolution. Okay. Um, could you answer me exactly the same question, but now in your own language, in Arabic, or Tunisian Arabic? Uh, so you want this answer in Arabic? The same, well, yeah, not exactly the, sa the same answer, yes, yes, because yes, it yeah. won't happen, but uh, yeah, in Arabic. What happened in Bouzid uh, هناك أحد الباعة اللي استعملوا الطريق لبيع بعض المعدات كان منتصبا في, في, في الشارع فاعترضت سبيل امرأة من, من سلك الأمن ومناعته من استعمال الطريق باعتباره هي غير مسموح له باستعمال الطريق للبيع فوقعت مشادات كلامية بينهما تطورت إلى نوع من ردود فعل من المرأة الشرطية والتي تطورت فيما بعد إلى شعور هذا الرجل بالنوع من الاحتقار ونوع من التعدي مما أدى إلى إشعال النار في نفسه فكانت شررة الانطلاقة للثورة And um, according to you, you said in English that this woman who humiliated uh, Mohamed Bouzizi, she was a police officer. Yeah. Did you say the same thing in Arabic? Yes. Yeah? I said yes. Yeah. But you know that police officers, we have, we have the municipality police hmm. and we, has, we have the regular police. I don't know if you have the same thing in your country. But we have uh, municipality police, municipality police, which generally take care of the uh, the uh, the respect of order in towns. I mean, in, inside the uh, souks, inside the the places where vendors uh, may, may be using those spaces to uh, sell their products. Okay. Yeah, uh, this is something new for me actually, and uh, I think it's good. Uh, because as far as I know, as, as I knew before, she wasn't a police officer. But uh, because in my country it works pretty much the same way. Yeah. We have uh, military police and municipal police, but they are all police. Yeah. And uh, what I wanted to know, but we also have the agents, agents municipal agencies. And uh, as far as I understood before, she was an agent and not a police woman. Is that accurate? It's a municipality police. Well, well, you can call them agent or not, no, but we call them also municipality police. Then she has the power of police. Yes, yes. Okay. Mm. <coughs> Good. Um, well, I'll go further on and, uh, and I will ask you, um, what did you get out of this revolution? Uh, like everybody in this country, I think the most important thing that we have rooted the dictatorship and people now, uh, at least they started uh, getting the fruit of the revolution and the most important thing which we got up to now is freedom, freedom of speech. You know that this revolution uh, was looking forward 
to achieve many achievements in the uh, economical level, in the social level, may also in the personal level, especially in terms of freedom of speech. At least I'm sure we got that point now and we have to work further in order to achieve the objectives of the revolution, that is unrooting the poverty and trying to uh, have more equal society between the different classes. This is bad, yeah? Sorry. Just go for it. No problem. No, it's alright. Just take no, no, no. it. It's alright. I found out uh, the, the source of the noise. Yes. So, uh, let music. me see if I can use that. Like, please. Okay. Can you can you uh, answer me that same question in Arabic? Yeah, I can. Of course, the, 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 there should be some kind of differences in terminology, but what, what I can say is that Thora al Tunisia can تهدف إلى أهداف اقتصادية واجتماعية وكذلك أهداف متعلقة بالحرية الشخصية. ما تحقق إلى حد الآن ما يمكن أن نكون فخورين بتحقيقه اليوم هو أن الحرية الشخصية حرية التعبير هي هو مكسب لا يمكن أن ينكره أحد وتبقى الجانب الاقتصادي ومقاومة الفقر ومقاومة البطالة طبعا كان كلمة البطالة لم أذكرها في في النص الإنجليزي لكن البطالة ثم الجانب الاجتماعي كذلك هذا يجب أن نعمل عليه أن نعمل على تحقيقه في المستقبل إن شاء الله. Yeah, I just want to 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 make clear that I, this is not any kind of trick or anything with the languages. It's just something that I, that I, that I need uh, because afterwards I, I will choose if I will use that in English or in Arabic. But it's not any kind of uh, I'm trying to pull your leg or anything like this. I'm I'm just uh, getting both languages. Do you understand the Arabic language? No, not at all. <laughs> and uh, I did some interviews where I didn't yeah. understand a single word. But uh, I have some people that uh, will translate that for me okay. to the English. Mm -hmm. And then afterwards, I uh, I would like to use uh, that mostly in the original language. Okay. And. Uh, of course, because uh, it's like for me, f uh, English is not my first language, and uh, I, I feel that I can't express myself the same way that I do in my mm -hmm. own language. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, that, that's just about that. Okay. Yeah? Okay. <coughs> and um, how do you see Tunisia 10 years from now? In the future. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, th I think uh, to succeed in uh, achieving the objectives of the revolution that will take time, that will take some years in order to really uh, achieve what we have wanted from this revolution, especially in from the for, for the economical aspects of it. That means uh, uh, res resolving the problem of poverty and the problem of unemployment. Okay, and I think uh, ten years from now it will be sufficient time to overpass these problems and Tunisia will be a uh, real democracy uh, where uh, we will not find a situation which have led similar to what have led to this revolution. That means we don't we, we will not find people who are suffering from poverty, people suffering from unemployment and I think with uh, uh, good governing, with democracy, with the freedom uh, we can control the system in order to achieve what really uh, want to to have in this country. So f 10 years from now, uh, I, I will be very optimistic. Okay? In Arabic? <laughs> In Arabic. Okay. 10 سنوات من الآن أظن إنه الوقت كافي لتحقيق الأهداف التي قامت من أجلها الثورة فيمكن أن تتحقق الجانب الاقتصادي من أهداف الثورة هو المتعلق بمقاومة الفقر ومقاومة البطالة 
يكون المجتمع فيه مهيئ لممارسة الديمقراطية كبقية الشعوب والديمقراطية هي التي تسمح المجال لمراقبة النظام من أجل السير في الطريق الصحيح ومن أجل السير في الطريق الذي يؤدي إلى تحقيق أهداف الثورة. Okay. I'll move back a little bit because of the, the light yeah. and I will ask you what happened in Sidi Bouzid on the 17th of December of 2010. So you are asking, you are asking the same question in order to compare, not, not really for the South, <laughs> but rather for, to, to make sure that things is, uh, coincide correctly, right? It's all right. It's, uh, so you know how to uh, uh, you know, uh, deliver your, your uh, interview, it's all right. But what, what I'm saying, in, in Sidi Bouzid, the problem started when a uh, salesperson, uh, person uh, who is a vendor in the state, uh, he was uh, humiliated by a policewoman, which, is, uh, which, which belongs to the uh, municipality police sector. I, I had, uh, you know, I, I added this for clarification, and which prevent, which, 